Fire Emblem. Engage. Wonderful to see my chum. There is so much to catch up on, so much to see and do to- We can chat for hours. Take look. If my child's memories are truly lost, I wonder. <sighs> Emblem Sigurd. I am here. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Today certainly was eventful. Queen Lumera seems so kind and caring. I'm sure she was a wonderful mother. If only I could remember those days. I must have felt so lucky to be her child. Why are you here alone? as though you were having a bad dream. I was. But yes, I'm all right. Were you here this whole time? You were wearing my ring when you went to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to take it off. That's all right. Keep it on. Then if something happens, I will be able to help. Besides, after a millennium together, I would feel uncomfortable if we were separated now. Marth, what was I like? Hmm. You knew me back then. You must be able to tell me something. Well... You were kind, as you are now. There's no need to remember everything at once. Take your time. Ease back into your memories. Lumera advised that too, didn't she? Yes, she did. Sorry. I don't mean to be impatient. It's all right. What was that? I'm not sure. An enemy raid? We had best take a look. I'm worried about Lumera and the others. Agreed. You're safe. What's happening? Tell me. Some enemies busted right through the castle walls like paper. Suddenly, bam, they're here. What's worse, they fought their way into the ring vault. If you ask me, they're trying to get their hands on the <sighs> emblem rings. Even as we speak, Queen Lumera is defending the vault. Quickly, we must fly to her aid. Sounds like a plan. Follow me.
I've got this. As your steward. For the Divine Dragon! Too many of them. We'll never... Through the store, right? Yeah, this is the one. Then let go. I hear voices. Someone's coming. Moment too soon. The Crown Prince Alfred of Firene is here to help. Let me at him. Prince Alfred of Firene, you said? Could it be? Are you the Divine Dragon? You finally woke up? I did, yes. That's amazing! You know, I've waited ages for this to happen! There's so much to talk about, later, of course, after we've taken care of these scoundrels. Who are they, anyway? We're not sure. They attacked so suddenly. Well, let's do this quickly. Pin down whoever's in charge and get some answers. Oh, these are my retainers, Etie and Boucheron. From now on, lead the way, Divine One! Thank you for your help. Stay strong.
Fate has brought us here. I cannot afford to lose. For you, anything. The Divine Dragon. Sorry, Divine One. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. If I'm near an enemy you're fighting, I can jump in and land another hit on them. Call on me if you need some extra oomph. It's an honor to meet you, Divine One. My arrows are perfect for knock. With these muscles, I'll have those flyers dropping. Here until the end. I live to fight again. I'm all set. Mm-hmm. 
sorry, Divine One. I'm retreating. I cannot afford to lose. I'll never yield. I live to fight again. No one reaches the vault. Just any soldiers, are you? I can keep going. Looks 
like I broke them. Looks like we cleared the way. Let's get to the ring vault. Whoever it is you are, the rest of your forces have all been defeated. So surrender now. If you refuse, I will stop you. Hmm. <clears throat> but how? Do I detect a hint of fear? Of course I do. <clears throat> Time to die. Look out! over to me. Leave here at once! powers to you. I hoped it would be enough to bring you back to me someday. But now, it would seem that I'm completely spent. Oh no, this is my fault. I did this. No, my dear. You have to push those thoughts away. There is nothing a mother wouldn't do to see life return again. To her beloved child. But I... This ring, it belongs to you now. The ring of the Holy Knight. I had so hoped to give you the ring I made as well. But that's not possible now. Listen to me, child. Those who invaded here, I sense the power of the fell dragon within them. <sighs> You must not allow them to capture any more of their rings. Please, I beg of you, gather together all twelve rings. And when your scattered memories return to you, you must fight on with the utmost divinity. I believe in you, my child. I understand. I'll collect the rings. I swear to you, and I'll fight. I'll do whatever you want, but please, don't leave me. <sighs> Mother! Ah, oh. oh, young one. How I've longed to hear you call me that. All of those years, I held out hope. My heart is fuller than you could ever know. I can't end like this. 
You were going to give me that ring once my memories came back. You promised. And there, there are so many things you haven't told me yet. You said that we would talk. I did. There's still so much I wanted to say to you. Being your mother, becoming your mother has brought so much happiness into my life. I know, and I'm happy to be your child. In this moment, here and now, and a thousand years ago, I am. Don't go. Stay with me until I remember again. Please, mother! I need more time! <laughs> oh, my sweet one. Now, let's make a promise. Mother and child will make it a pinky promise. I swear to you, I'll be with you always and forever. And the ring, remember. <sighs> Once you've rested, we will talk. You and I. Mother. No. Please! This simply cannot have happened. Queen Numera. Divine Dragon Queen. She has left us. Mother, please wake up. You promised you'd stay by my side. You have to. You have to keep your promise. Thank you for helping with my mother's funeral. It was the final service we could provide Queen Numera as stewards. <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. Come on, Fram. Think how hard this must be on the Divine Dragon. We gotta hold it together. I'm trying, but... <laughs> Lumera, I never thought our paths would diverge so soon. Nor I, and to leave a child behind, I did that in death. A bitter memory. I vow to protect your offspring in your absence, Lumera. If we could grant our power now, Marth, you know that's not possible without the other emblems here. Yes, yes, I know. This is awful. Sorry, I couldn't have done... something. No, Prince Alfred. Without you, our losses may have been even greater. Though I must ask, why did you come? Was there something you needed? Our kingdom is in danger. My mother sent me to ask Queen Lumera for help. All over Firene, our people are being attacked by these... these... creatures. Creatures? What kind of creatures? These things are like... people, but... Cracked, almost crumbling. The corrupted. Oh, so that's what you call them. Yes, corpses brought back to life. No wonder they wouldn't listen to us. They just keep attacking everything. We sent our knights out to hold them off, but it's a losing battle. My kingdom is being destroyed. 
Divine One, will you help us? Please, come with me to Firinae. Me? What can I do? It was my mother's help you wanted, not mine. Queen Lumera is gone. You're the last divine dragon. We need the power of the rings to save Firinae. And only you can do that. Sorry, I don't mean to press the topic. I'll return to Firinae. We'll do what we can. I'm coming with you. You will? I don't want more families to be torn apart. More people to suffer. Even if I'm scared, I have to push through my fear. Now that my mother is gone, it's my duty to step into the role of Divine Dragon. And if each kingdom is protecting rings, I take it Firinae has one, correct? That's right. Then I need to go there anyway, to honor my mother's request. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. As the Divine Dragon, I officially accept the Kingdom of Firinae's request for aid. That's great to hear! Thank you, Divine One. Happy to help, Prince Alfred. Just Alfred is fine. I've been visiting you at the Somniel since I was a boy. I think of you as an old friend. A very, very old friend. I appreciate that. Actually, I can't remember anything from before I fell asleep. Nothing? This world is new to me. I appreciate having friends who can teach me about it. I'll do my best. Can't say I'll know much compared to Queen Lumera, but I'll try. Thank you, Alfred. We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a Divine Dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. I can? Indeed. Furthermore, one can only enter the Somniel with a Divine Dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one, but don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. 
I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings, just as you asked. And then, I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are, safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know, but it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm, a piece of jewelry. I don't recognize it. Where did you get this? On the ground in the Ring Vault, after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait. It's familiar, somehow. Even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Thank you, Vander. Once we've rested for a bit, let's set out for Firene. Here we are, the Kingdom of Firene. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the Corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip. Crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for twisting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to! Let's see... Firne is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. It's ruled by my mother, Queen Ev. We're known as, uh, Land of Plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm, the Queendom of Freedom, and Brodia, the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Firene. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Elusia to expand his own territory. I take it Elusia isn't in the alliance. No, 
Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Illusions worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Illusia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Firene? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Firene, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. stand to see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine One, will you help me? Of course. Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Saley, I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis! Chloe! You can't possibly expect me to... It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I concede the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <laughs> Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline, for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with her highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's. doing here? I thought you were with Mother. I was, but Alfred, the Illusion army is marching on the castle. What? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Court. 
Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please, we must hurry back to them. Absolutely. Pardon me, Princess Saline, but do you... Yes, Mother gave it to me. Why do you... Goodness gracious! The Divine Dragon? You're here! You're awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The emblem ring is right here. Please, Divine One, it is yours. The words... They're coming to me. Care for us! Emblem of Echoes! I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinay's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers, of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Celine. won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Good idea. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave the mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Emblem Celica, it is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. With Celica's help, I ought to be able to... Look at that house. The gate is wide open. 
We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted... What's that? Monsters here? Gosh, all, thanks for letting me know. Take this. Might come in useful. I'm ready for more. I can fight. This is the mission of the stewards. What a lovely scene. Understood. Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. As your steward. I'm ready. For the Divine Dragon! are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old-fashioned village pillage. The crystal. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Lethos Castle. Why? Do you know what this is? Draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. There is a limit to its power, but still, it could... Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. I'll manage. Emblem, engage! My prayers are with you! I cannot afford 
sport to lose. It's just a scratch. Please grant me your strength. I feel a great power within. We have united, haven't we? My resolve is strong. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. I am resolved to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way. Soon I'll be a legend. The man who captured the Princess of Virenet.
Is it go time? While you lasted. I will do what I must. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. won't be much use in this state. I'd better head to the roar lines to rest. <laughs> We're losing ground, are we? Well, that's easily remedied. Release the corrupt... I live to fight again. So your tale ends. Onward. I am the thirty second steward of the dragon.
Need some help? Dream well. Get through this. Let me help. <laughs>
would have won, you know, if they'd given me real soldiers. There's no need to be afraid. It's gone. You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the Corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Perhaps we should escort her home, or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? Huh? She's gone. Divine One! Saline. Did you see a girl pass this way? Small with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. Okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firinay's request for aid. And your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up, and the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought, surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Saline? Friends? 
I would be honored.